confession to make. Last calendar year, I read four books. Four. As embarrassing as that number was in my head, it's even more embarrassing to say out loud. Four books in 365 days. And to be honest, that was probably better than the year before that. I've never been a prolific reader, and I probably never will be, but that doesn't mean I can't do better. In my effort to read more, today I'm challenging myself to read for 24 straight hours. And my ultimate goal is to read more books today than I read all last year. In particular, I'm trying to read some more sci-fi classics since it is the genre I write in. The goal is to read 5 books in 24 hours, which would be more books than I read all last year. In reality, that's probably not going to happen. I don't know if I'm a fast reader or a slow reader. I'd want to think I'm a fast reader, but in reality, I really don't read that much, so I'm probably a slow reader. But I guess we'll find out in this video. So I made a list of books I'm going to attempt to read during this challenge. There's only 5 on it because let's face it, I'm not going to last that long. So the first book I have on this list is Solaris, followed by The Forever War, iRobot, All Systems Red, and then Hyperion. I'm aware that All Systems Red is a novella, even though it's on the longer side of novellas, but Hyperion is really long, so I'm figuring they're going to balance themselves out. In the end of this challenge, I'm going to take the word count of all the books I read and add them all up, because that would be a better measure of how much I read. Unlike my previous 24-hour challenges, where I procrastinated the entire day before taking on at night, where I was already exhausted, I'm actually starting this as soon as I woke up in the morning. Well, I shouldn't say woke up in the morning, it's afternoon. I woke up at around 1pm. The sleep schedule is not great, but we'll deal with that at a later time. By the time I finish filming this and I get set up for the first time lapse, it'll probably be around 1.30, so that's when we'll set the timer. And by 1.30 tomorrow, hopefully I'll have read 5 books. Damn, it's such a nice day too. I probably should have picked a rainy day to do this challenge, but it's too late now. Final note, to prevent myself from reading as quickly as I possibly can and not really retaining anything that I actually read, I am going to make myself do a review of each book as I finish it. I'm also going to do a ranking of the books I read at the end of this video. That way you get some actual value other than just watching me suffer. As I read more sci-fi, I do want to make a ranking of like all my favorite sci-fi books. That's a topic for another video though, I'm going to get reading. So I read for an hour and then I took a 15 minute lunch break, so it's 2.45ish? 2.47 exactly. And in the first hour of reading according to my Kindle, I read 20% of Solaris. Which to be honest, I'm pretty sure this is one of the shorter books I'm reading for this challenge, so that definitely doesn't put me in a great spot to read all 5 in this 24 hour span. Especially considering that I'm assuming that my reading pace is going to slow down as I continue this challenge. In the 24 hour and the 12 hour writing challenge I did in the past, I noticed that after hour 8 I began to really slow down. But you know what, that's perfectly fine. While it would be awesome to read 5 books during 24 hours in this challenge, the main goal of this is to actually get myself back into reading. Which also means I'm not going to stray away from taking breaks in this challenge if I need them. While I haven't been reading a lot of books this summer, I have been reading a lot of short stories, so it would really suck if the result of this challenge was burning myself out so I didn't want to read it all. That being said, I am going to push myself, just not beyond reason. In the future, once I'm reading more consistently, I'll be sure to do a much more hardcore reading challenge. I'm talking 24 hours locked in my bedroom extreme. As for Solaris, the first book I'm reading in this challenge, I'm really enjoying it. To be honest, it's not about what I thought it was about at all. For some reason, I thought it was about Saturn. I think I was thinking about Ringworld, which I actually haven't read, but I have done some research on from when I was designing space stations in the past. I actually made a vlog recently where I go through how I design space stations for my own novels. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. Just note that my design process is far from professional. But yeah, I'm not going to give any spoilers in case someone wants to read this book in the future, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Which is good, it makes this challenge a lot easier. I feel like I'm kind of procrastinating here, I'm gonna get back to reading. So I took a break from reading to go swimming for an hour. I probably didn't really want to take a break this early, at least a break this long. But, you know, I figured I was laying in bed all day, it'd be good to get up and do something. You know, we'll see if it pays off or not later in the challenge. But in the moment, it was looking really sunny and I thought it'd be a good idea to go outside and get some sun for a little bit. At this point, I'm about 40% done with Solaris, so I'm going to try to grind it out before dinner. Grinds it out in strong words, it really hasn't felt like a grind so far. Although maybe that's because I've spent a third of the time for this challenge taking breaks. I guess I do have to tighten that up a little bit moving forward. Back to reading.
So I just finished reading Solaris, and if you can't tell, I'm feeling pretty exhausted. It was a good book. I genuinely did enjoy it. I'm glad I read it, but I'm also glad that I picked it first because at points it was very slow. And if I think I read it later on in the challenge, I definitely would have ended up falling asleep. I finished Solaris at around 10, 11 p.m., which means I'm pretty behind schedules where I thought I would be. Well, I guess not too far behind where I thought I would be, but behind where I thought I would be. When I was planning this, I thought I'd be a good 25% into the Forever War by now. I'm definitely not a fast reader. That being said, this is the first time in a long time that I've read an entire book in one day. I actually can't remember the last time I did that. And now, after I give my mind a good breather, I'm going to do it again. I do need to take a break, though, because I am feeling a bit mentally fatigued. Solaris wasn't a long read, but it definitely was a pretty challenging read. There are a lot of wordy descriptions and psychological concepts to really chew on. I enjoyed it, though. I definitely recommend it to an experienced sci-fi reader. Solaris by Santa Salem, I really hope I'm not butchering that, really made me consider what it would be like to interact with aliens that have no connection to human life or life on Earth. And it really makes you think in a different light of what alien life could be like. As of right now, it's ranked number one on the list of books I've read this challenge because it's the only book I've read so far. Hopefully by the end of this challenge, it doesn't remain the only book I read in 24 hours, but I'm not going to lie, I am feeling pretty fatigued. So I'm going to take a quick break because talking to the camera is not helping with that fatigue, and then hopefully I can get working on The Forever War. It is not looking like I'm going to read five books. So there's going to be a slight change of plans. I'm still going to do the reading challenge, but my sister's out of town and the cat is starting to get upset. So I'm going to go across the hall and try to read a little bit over there. Hello, Leo. So with just 20 minutes left in this challenge, I just finished The Forever War by Joe Holdeman, and I think I'm going to call it here. For this challenge, I'm basically averaging one book every 12 hours, so I don't think I'm going to be finishing another book in 20 minutes. Before I give my final thoughts on this challenge, I do want to talk a little bit about The Forever War. It also wasn't quite what I was expecting. I didn't know it when I first picked it up because I picked both these books up blindly off Kindle Unlimited, but this was actually a commentary about the Vietnam War. And as a result, I think I enjoyed it a lot more than I think I would have. I don't always love books that are heavily feeding you messages about the real world. In fact, a lot of times I don't enjoy books that do that, but this book did it in a way that it didn't feel forced. I thought the space combat scenes were really good, the world building was really strong, and the pace was really fast. And because I like fast pacing in a book, I'm putting it ahead of Solaris on my list of two books that I read in 24 hours. Which is a little bit disappointing to be honest, I really thought I was going to get to three books at least. At the same time, I'm not that disappointed. These two books are books that I feel you really need to take time to truly appreciate, and I honestly feel like I would have enjoyed them more if I read them over the span of a week. I feel like maybe I would have been able to read three books if I didn't fall asleep during that time span last night, but if I didn't fall asleep, I feel like I would have missed half the message of Forever War. Which, you know, what's the point of reading if you're not going to retain anything? And because of that, I'm kind of hesitant of doing another challenge to read for 24 straight hours in the near future. I'll definitely do one eventually, but I think in the short term, especially with my goals to build up my habit of reading more frequently, I think it might be more beneficial to do a challenge where I read for one straight week. Not non-stop, obviously, but see how many books I can read in a week. I feel like that would be more productive towards building good habits. Speaking of reading habits, now that I've done this challenge and really gotten back into reading, I think my goal is going to be to read for 15 minutes every night before I go to bed. Even though I fell short of my goals in this challenge, now that I've read two whole books in 24 hours, I think it'll be a lot easier for me to get myself to read for 15 minutes before bed. And it's funny, even though I can't stand the thought of looking at words for a good few hours, I will say this has reignited my love for reading. And I definitely feel like I got some good writing inspiration from the books I read. 
I've actually been thinking when I do the seven day reading challenge, it'd actually be a cool idea instead of reading sci-fi classics to maybe read some of your books. So if you've written a book, be sure to tell me about it in the comments below. I feel like there was more stuff that I want to say at the end of this video, but even though I slept for a fourth of this challenge, I'm still feeling pretty exhausted, so I'm gonna call it here. This is Editor Pat here, and I realized really quickly that I didn't give the word count of the two books I read, and that was actually kind of because I could not find it when I was filming the ending part. Everywhere I looked on the internet, there are different page counts for these books, but there are no word counts anywhere, which I find weird. Page count doesn't tell you anything, because depending on the fonts and all these other things, it can be different for every book. I understand that these are older books and there are multiple different versions of these older books and each different version has a different amount of words, but there should be some sort of baseline amount of words that these books have. All I could find online were estimates. Those estimates tell me I read between 160 and 175 words in 24 hours. And I guess that's cool, but I can definitely do better. In the future, I will be doing better. At the same time, it really is crazy how much quicker you can read than you can write. If I had to guess, both these books probably took at least a year to write and I read them in one day. I mean, it makes sense, but it's still kind of crazy to think about. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video or subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go take a nap.